Okay, we got a 499 Super Chat. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> uh, can REW correct for impulse response? If so, can those settings be imported by multi EQX as PEQ filters? Not right. sure if I mixed phasing is IP for a direct. Michael's got this one. <laughs> Sorry, I can't multitask. I was typing. All right. Can <laughs> REW correct? Oh, whatever, dude. Impulse response? <laughs> Oh man, that's oh, man. that's above. I can favorite. pretend to know what the answer to this. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for the super chat. So I'm going to try yeah, my best. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Man, that's that's real technical. I'm real new to to REW okay. and I mean, I, I just I just okay. I just do the basics and mini DSP. Man, I'm still learning. Okay, so uh, I think Chana's Mark, got a good grasp on it, though. Mark, <laughs> you got this, Chana? You got it? No. <laughs> Man, I'll try. Impulse I'll response. Try my best. Joe right. sent me some impulse response <laughs> files. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so impulse response is a just basically a tone that's like all the frequencies happening at the same exact instant, right? It's a hypothetical more than a real tone because it's supposed to be like an instant, like not even a half second, not a quarter second. It's like instantaneous. So, um, that's what that's what an impulse response is. Um, can the question is can REW correct for the impulse response? REW doesn't really correct for anything it necessarily. It's there for measurements. You can use the measurements and some of the tools that they have there to correct for impulse response. I think they have stuff where you can change it um, from uh, you know change the phase right so there's there's linear phase you know there's different changes that you can make in there and then apply some i don't know if you can do it on rew i haven't tried to do it um you may have to use a different software I'm just trying to think um but i think what you're kind of getting at so the rest of the question is if so can these settings be imported to multi-q as peq filters i don't think so because you would need, you would need, uh, uh, you would need multi QX to be able to accept those types of filters, right? So uh, on a mini DSP, you have a setting for PEQ, you have delay, you have levels, all that, and then there's another area. I have to look at what they call it. Let me see here. One second. Opening up mini DSP. I think it's. Let's see here. Outputs. Yeah, so there's a section here for FIR, FIR filter. So you'd need to use an FIR filter, and that will give you the tools that you need to, to uh, fix impulse. And I think you're asking, not sure if it's mixed phase. Where is it? Mixed phase for Dirac. But yeah, Dirac claims, and, I'm, and I believe them, that they fix the impulse response. So... The thing to know about that is, um, you know, most of the time you're just fixing the magnitude response, meaning the, you know, what the frequency is, right? You're not really adjusting the phase relationships across the board, right? So they could be, you could have a nice frequency response and then stuff could be really out of phase. Um, and so Dirac, their whole thing is that they correct both, right? And your question is, can can you do that? With REW, you, you can do that with two channels or more channels. If you have uh, REW, you need a mini DSP. Uh, and I think FIR phase, I'm trying to think of the software that you need to do the FIR stuff for impulse response. But you rephase, there you go. Ton knows, there you go. That's my, that's my dude right there. Rephase app, yeah, that's what you need. So it's it's not straightforward. Let's just say let's just say that. But you can definitely do it. Hopefully that answers some of it. I I did my best. I did my yeah, best. Good That's job. all I got. Yeah. Now, if you'd like to join us in the after show, make sure to become a patron. It would be patreon.com slash daily hi fi. And you get to video chat, you know, kind of like this with us after the show. It's pretty awesome. You should check it out.